and we are going to start. <clears throat> I'm Gwen with uh, Scrap Adabadoo's Craft Ustream site. Uh, I'm also uh, CraftyLadyDesigns.com is my uh, blog page. We're going to make an album today. This is a paperback album. It's very simple. It's not really hard. It's a little, you know, there's been 10,000 paperback albums. Just a little bit of a different take. Uh, I certainly don't want to steal anybody's thunder. Uh, and uh, anyway, uh, it's got six pages uh, with pockets and uh, photo uh, mounting tags. It's got a big tag here in the back that you can put your photo on, put journaling on. Uh, and then these, these are, there's, this tag fits in the back. The front, you can certainly put a tag, but it has to be shorter. It stops you in here for some reason, but it does. So you could put a shorter tag, which is about, about an inch and three, about an inch and a half shorter in the front, and then put this longer one in the back. On the back of the page, it has two photo mats. They're alike, so each page virtually is the same. Now, I just put pattern paper on here and a little decorative uh, strip I cut out. This is a little uh, uh, coin envelope that I made, and I'm going to show you how to do those if you're not familiar on making. They're very uh, easy to make, and I've made a lot of them. I'm going to show you some of them I made here. So I just put that on there where you could open that up and slip something. There again is a photo tag, just like they're all the same, and that slides in. Here's your big photo tag in the back. And I'll give you the measurements on these. And on the back is the two photo uh, mounts as well. So there, again, every page is the same. We're not using this paper. This paper is out of stock. This, the book backing, spine and all, is a Ritz cracker box. You could use a cereal box. I, I, I don't know if these are a little heavier than because I saved the cereal boxes as well. And if you put two or three layers of cereal boxes together, you got pretty nice uh, chipboard type weight. But this and then when you and when you cover this front and back, it's just got a really good feel to it. It's just really kind of soft and flat, but it's strong. So far, knock on wood, I don't have any cracks. I don't know why. Uh, and then, of course, I embellish the front. But we're not. We're, we're making the same book, same size, same premise. But we're using different paper. We're going to use Bow Bunny's uh, Somewhere in Time paper. This here, Bow Bunny Somewhere in Time. I'll go through the pages. I've used this before. I used this on the great big tag that we made. I think it was on when I first did my first or second uh, you stream stream on my channel. I have some left. This is just gorgeous, gorgeous paper. Uh, so, and then I'm going to use craft to make this the uh, uh, winged uh, system to adhere the pages to the book. And I want to go over that a little bit and maybe talk about that a minute. So I'm going to use the craft paper for that. Uh, and and then you'll need you know some embellishing and whatever. So uh, we should be able to finish this today if I'm not too slow. Uh, hi Fran! Fran, Fran, how you doing girl? Okay, so let's get started. <clears throat> the first thing I am going to do is show you how, if, if you don't, how to make these little coin envelopes. They're very simple. Here's a teensy weensy one. You can make them with a flap, without a flap. I sent one day. Uh, here's a fat one. Here's a tall skinny one. And see this this type of one would, would fit in there. And then you could stick something in there, a little tag or whatever. So if you haven't made them, if you have, why I, I think I make them maybe a little bit different, but who knows? You know, we've been in this industry for a long time, most of us, and you have probably the same as I have watched many YouTube's, many uh, Ustream programs, and you pick up things along the way. That doesn't mean, uh, hi Ashley, hi sweetie, uh, 
that you're copying anybody's work or whatever. That just means, oh, this come to mind. This would be pretty. I, I think I saw this maybe three years ago, or et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, I, uh, these I do, I think a little bit different. I don't fold them and whatever, and I'll show you here. These are bigger ones, and then I have, and I brought this one out the other day, and I think it was Dutch or somebody. This is a great big one. This reminds me of my, my full, or my, uh, thing, my uh, coin envelope, large, that my report card came in, other than it was Manila. So anyway, how, whatever size you want, if you want, uh, if you want a, a, an envelope that's four inches, and you want an inch and a quarter flap, you're going to make, you're going to cut a piece of paper eight, I mean, nine and a quarter long, okay? So this paper in length is nine and a quarter. No, it's not. It's nine and a half. I'm sorry. <laughs> nine and a half. If you, if you want, there again, if you want an eight inch, I mean, four inches finished with an inch and a half you're going to make it nine and a half inches because you're going to have four inches here, four inches here, and an inch and a half there. Then you take the width. Uh, this finished width is two and a half inches wide, but you're going to have a half inch on each side. So you're going to make it three and a half inches wide and nine and three quarter inches tall. I don't know why I got nine and three quarters. What is this? Inch and a half. Okay, that's what I've got. It's nine. You're going to cut your paper nine and three quarters long and four and a quarter wide. You are going to score this. Oh. You are going to score this a half an inch down both sides. half an inch down both sides. You're going to score it one and a quarter across the top. You're going to turn it and you're going to score it at four across the bottom. Okay. No, I'm sorry. Four and a quarter. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. Four and a quarter. Okay, here we go. Nine and three quarters long. It's four and a quarter wide. You're going to score a half inch on either side. You're going to turn it. You're going to score it at one and a quarter across the top. Turn it and you're going to score it at four and a quarter across the bottom. After you get your scoring finished, you're going to turn it around from the top. This is the top. And you're going to cut completely from the top down to your fold. I mean, down to your, uh, and then you're going to, when you finish off, you're going to do that. I turn it over and go this way. So you cut down both sides from the top on your half inch score line to your four and quarter score line, and then you're going to chamber, you're going to angle. So we have, it looks like this. Here's your score line for your flap. Here's your score line for uh, for your card, oh, what I do? I should, yeah, your score line for your card. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna furnish that a little bit. I take, uh, you can round your corners on your, for your flap. You're gonna fold this down. This is your flap. You're gonna fold in your, um, uh, half inch gussets or, whatever they're called, I don't know. And you can round your corners. Now, I've been taking, I've turned them on, I've seen, you've seen them this way. If you take just a little, just a wee bit angle, just a little bit, whoops, make it straight, go all the way to your score line, add an angle, it's going to look like this. It's a, a little sliver that's kind of like that on either side. I've seen them this way. All the way to that score line. 
and then when it it folds down this is wider than I wanted it I don't know why and it's crooked um, you're going to take your tape Tape it down. I don't know why that's wider. It shouldn't be. I did something wrong. Take your tape. They're all made the same. Tape it up. Turn it over. Fold that down there. And there. This folds down on the top. Now, you can also take it. I didn't do this. Take your... Uh, cut a thumb to cut a little thumb thing and this folds down now these little um, ties here they are these little ties come in a package you can make them I have made them but it's these and you just stick them on you stick one on the top one on the bottom and they're good to go they're a lot easier than making them so there you go there's one that size and I don't know why it ended up that size but it is it's okay it wouldn't fit in that. well it might it ended up three and a quarter wide and four and a quarter long. And if you want to make them, you make them the same way. It's just you don't add the extra on if you don't want to flap. Just as this one is uh, finished, this one is uh, three and five eighths by three. So you would double that three and five eighths and score it at three and five eighths in half, virtually. Uh, three, you'd make it uh, four because you want a half inch on either side all the way down, and you cut it off like so. So here, here is your card like that, and these fold in like like that. Now I rounded that one so you can round the corner or you can cut it at an angle or leave it square. Here's another one. Not quite finished. Okay, very simple. Uh, hi Amanda, how are you? Hi Fran. Amanda, everybody, Jenny. Okay, so we're done with that. So we're going to start on our. Um, oh, I got to put this somewhere before I lose my bag. Oh, here it is. Before I lose these, I have my other. I sat one afternoon, made a whole bunch of these. I think they're kind of fun. The reason I started doing, and then somebody sent me some. I made a comment on a chat that. Uh, we were using small corn envelopes in the project and uh, I didn't have any so I went to the office supply to buy some there were 250 in a box and uh, they were like $25 and I thought my gosh I won't live long enough to use all the especially that one size and whatever well some gal that was on the chat and I apologize if she's here uh, sent me a a whole package of them, uh, which I really appreciated, and uh, so I thought, well, you know, and then I came across the YouTube, I think, on how to make them and different ways to make them, and uh, so I just sat one day and made a whole bunch of them. Okay, we are going to use this Ritz Cracker Box. This makes a neat, easy album. It's different, it's fun, all those things. Um, you'll need either that or a stereo box. These are shorter and a different size. I mean, the overall size of this, opposed to a stereo box, is seven and a half by eight. But we're going to cut this down as well. We're going to cut the top off of it because our album is like that so we're going to cut the top off you could use the whole thing you could use the whole box just cut the top off the bottom off and the side and make one whole big uh, album if you want I might do that sometime I just haven't yet uh, you're going to need six paper bags these measure 
and these I, I'm sure they have these at Scrap and Abadu. These major measures eight and seven eighths, eight and seven eighths by four and a half. Now we're going to cut them down. We're going to cut them down uh, to seven and three quarters. Uh, the width of the book is going to be five inches. So we are going to take two and a half inches off the top. So the finished book is is the uh, is five inches across, five inches, and then this is the size of the cracker box. So you actually take off the bottom and the side of the cracker box. This is the actual size of the cracker box, other than the top. Uh, so you'll need six paper bags. Now you can do it any size you want. This is just the, the size we're going to do today. Uh, the uh, photo uh, plates that we put inside, they measure three and three quarters by five and a half. And the pattern paper that fits on top of them is cut at three and a half by five and a quarter, which leaves about an eighth of an inch around. The big tags that, that I've used measure seven and a half by four. And then I corner them at the top and I put a grommet in here. If you want to make the little ones to go in the front, which would be, would be real cute, I just didn't, you want to make them, those stop in there, you want to make them about an inch and a half smaller so they would be six inches by four. Be the same width but shorter. So the big ones are uh, seven and a half by four and if you want to make the small ones they would be six by four. Okay? Okay. Questions? Any questions? She eats catch and eats coffee. Okay, now I understand. Good evening. Hi, Dad. Hi, Scrap and Share. How are you? Okay, so that are that's the dimensions. You also are going to need a, a piece of paper for your uh, uh, oh your binding system. I don't know what to call it anymore. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, it's a takeoff of Kathy Orta's uh, Hidden Hinge. I've changed it a little bit. I'm not going to call it mine. I just do it a little different. But it, it's a, an accordion pleated uh, binding system. So you're going to need a piece of paper to do that as well. And we'll, we'll do that here in a minute. Well, the first thing we're going to do is break down our cracker box. I have so many of these. Margaret Ann, I'm going to send you some cracker boxes. God I love you. And I got some other things I'm going to send you as well. So you break it down. Now the only thing you're just going to take off, as far as this, um, well, I never had that much trouble before. Okay, you're going to take off. So it's out like this. You but now you want this spine. You want this left on the left side. This is the one where they attach it together. So we're going to cut all that off. So take your craft knife, scissors, whatever you want to do, and cut this little, their half inch or whatever it is, strip. You're going to cut that off. You're going to turn it, and you're going to start cutting these well, that one, I'm going to cut it off anyway, but that one we're going to cut off at the top. So I didn't. I guess you don't really. So you cut them off all the way across the top. You can do this with your cutter, rotary cutter, whatever you have. Scissors, you know, fine. Then you're going to turn it, and this is the this is the part where they attached it. So you want to cut this off. You, it breaks down. The other side, you would have to physically cut it to open it up. This one opens up when you open up the box. 
We're going to do the same thing across the bottom. I'm going to send this into Rich Crackers. See if they want one. I had a friend that made candy. She made gourmet candy and whatever, and she was always designing molds and and all this. And she designed a candy mold for Domino Pizza. It was a Domino a piece of chocolate candy with white dots for the Domino. She made the mold, and they bought it. She got a lot of money. A lot of money. I want to do that one more time. Straight. Now, I don't know that Rich Crackers wants to start making photo albums, but you never know. They might. I've got my screen blowed up to 150% so I can see it better because I'm old. So I have to pan down to see my upcycling. That's right. Is Barry here? Hi, Barry. Good morning. Yes. Oh, I have enough. Ronnie eats cereal. God love his little heart every morning for his little breakfast. And he's always bringing me down, and I'll find on my desk a uh, uh, Kellogg cereal box. Well, here it is. And this is the other side, but here it is, and this is what we're going to start from. This is virtually our book. This measures 18 inches. Now, we don't have any paper, 18 inches. And I'm going to cover this all with one sheet, the inside and the outside. And I'm going to splice them together in the middle. And you're not going to see it. That's going to be covered up by the binding system. And the back's going to be covered up with something. Okay? Now, uh, I'm going to cut off. And I'll show you what it's going to look like. Where is it? I'm going to measure to make sure. We're going to cut the top off like this. I'm going to make sure I know how. Yeah, it's two and a half inches. We're going to cut two, and I leave it all together like this. Fold it, and then I'm going to run it through my cutter, but I'm going to use an old blade. It probably won't cut all the way through, but it'll cut through enough that then I can finish it off with my craft knife or scissors or whatever. So I just fold it up like so. I put it in here. Ooh, that fell out. And, and cut off two and a half inches. Ooh. Two and a half inches from. Well, that doesn't look right. Is that right? Ooh, make sure. Yeah, that's right. Okay, two and a half inches. I do it two or three times, but I don't think it goes all, and it doesn't go all the way through. But it gives me a score line where I can then take my uh, craft knife and very gingerly go down that line. My rotor cutter would cut all the way through, but it's piled up with projects. Okay, okay there's a little bump in there. I'll trim it down. I got it off just a hair. I'm going to just trim it down here, make sure it's square. it worse. Okay, that's fine. That'll all be with paper and sanded and uh, Barry, I'm using the um, Bow Bunny paper somewhere in time. I'm using, I'm also using the Distressed Ink. I'm using Walnut Stain. We're having black pages and whatever. So there it is. That's what you cut off. Lay that aside, throw it away, do it, whatever you want to do with it. I'm going to very on the end where that uh, 
I don't know, I don't know what's their score marks or what it's chip and we'll cut that off. And the other one's fine. Okay, now we're gonna choose. See, I can't see the chat. I'm reading. I missed any Bonnie. Hello. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, how many do we have today? How many do we have today? Okay. Well, we have eight guests. I wish they'd come in and chat. We won't bite. We'd love to meet them. Okay. You just sign in and whatever. And oh, I want to put that back on there. Take that old cutting blade out and put in my good one. Okay. Now I as I say I and I, I don't cut I don't wrap this. I cover it edge to edge. And I'm going to use uh, it'll take two sheets of paper. Uh, but that's okay. It 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 looks better that way. Bow bunnies. I haven't chosen the paper yet. There's, oh, it's such pretty, pretty paper. It is directional. I love this. I don't know. I've used this. I made a huge tag, and I used this for something else. Here's blue with hats on it, and I love this gold. Love, love, love. A little dressy. I like the hats. I use this for to do a. Uh, 12 by 12 uh, shadow box with my daughter and son-in-law. Here's the plumbing. Love the plumbing as well. And oh yes, they're so cool. We may use, I don't know, we may use that. But I love the blue. Here's the blue. I have to have two sheets of the same thing. I like that, it's too good. I don't want to strike. I, I only have one sheet of this left and I don't want, I, I, you need two sheets. Well, you really don't. You can have one on the front, one on the back, that put together, uh, and then cover up a spine. But I, I, I don't really want to. I don't want to lose. I don't want to use the bottom and lose the uh, corset. And then we have this. Is there two of those? I like it. Yeah. See, I've used some of this. And here's the beautiful flowers. And I only have one of that one as well. And these are just kind of solids that uh, came with it. Hmm. What do you guys think? I like that. I like the plumbing. What do you think? we got to do an inside as well. Okay. Yeah, the balloon need to use it for the front. Balloons need to use for the front. Well, I could use the balloons and then and do front and back and and uh, put them together. That is no problem. You're gonna have a seam, but that's okay. I, I wouldn't do this on the end. Well, let's do the balloons. Uh, love this paper. I think, I'm sure, I hope they still have it. It's scrap a dab a do Carol, or Barry. Is Carol here yet? Took me a while again to get in today, but I got in okay. We're going to finish up, for you that have just come in, we're going to finish up our folio on my show Tuesday. A couple weeks, we got something going on. Now, this, as I say, we're going to do it edge to edge. This is five inches wide. I'm going to make it about five and an eighth to make sure that we, you know, whatever. And we're just a little. Nothing is perfect, and I don't want it short. You don't need. Hello. You know, I did take math in school. You just need one sheet. 
because it's it's not going to line up, but it's okay. It'll be okay. All right. Well, I could have used one. <laughs> There's only needed one sheet. Okay, then you turn it over, and, and there again, it's directional, and then you're going to splice it together with tape. I've done this many times, and it's okay. It comes out fine. I'm going to use half-inch tape. Got my box, Barry. Love it. I'm, I placed an order, too. I got a bunch of stuff coming. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm going to splice that together. Now, <laughs> don't forget to take that off because I have been known to uh, not remove that tape or the backing. You just put it on the back, and there it is. It's spliced together, and you'll never know. Because that's going to fold. You can decorate the spine. You're going to turn it over, of course. You're going to lay this out to make sure and see. You're going to put this in the, the spine in the middle. And I know it's wasteful. I'm glad I kept that a little bigger. Hello. Uh, okay, it's fine. You're going to put this in the middle of the splicing, your spine. And you're going to cut off from either end, and I know it's wasteful, but I can't help it. Uh, you're going to cut off from either end, end, either end, cut it off. I'm just going to do it with my craft knife. Just cut it off. Okay, and you've got these two little pieces. You could make a tag. There's a balloon on the end or do whatever. So here we go. There we go. So we're going to tape it down. <clears throat> I'm going to use half inch tape around the outer part. Now you want to use score tape. Well, I suppose you could use glue. It hold, But I always use score tape on this type of thing because I certainly want it to stay and I also put tape in the middle of the body because I like I don't want it bubbly or whatever so you've seen me do that before any questions I have my earrings on today I hope this goes well I even have my nails done for you that are new because somebody made mention of my I had to polish my nails because they were growing out so long they looked horrible and then all the scrap of David do uh, streamers have been polishing their nails so you know you gotta keep up I used to polish them all the time then I kinda got I've got I need to go get them they look like claws they're way too long I can barely type now that is shiny that box that cracker box is kinda shiny so burnish that real well uh, and then don't forget as I said well let me put this on here this is the uh, tape that I screwed up and couldn't get in my ATG gun that's half inch. I used the other one. This is my second one, but it holds really well. It's, uh, I don't know, I think it's stronger than the quarter inch. I may be wrong, but, but I like, and I used to years ago, I used to, uh, use wet glue and kind of brush it on, and I did my cardstock for my. I mean my chipboard. Uh, it it just I don't know. I'm gonna put one more strip. It warps it. You have to let it dry. All these things. And this this is okay. I have it. Uh, tried to fill my pull them off. We all need to buy stock in the score company. 
we could probably retire. Surely there's something we can do with these strips. Any hangover, just fold it back. I tear my tape opposed to cutting. I used to cut it. I can't do like Ashley and, and Kathy and use the little perfect ruler and snap it. I've tried. I'm not that coordinated, I guess. Besides, it takes time. Let me check the chat. We want to see what you did with your boxes. What boxes? What boxes, honey? Are you talking to me or are you talking to somebody else? So I now have several boxes emptied to save for books. Fran. I don't know what she's talking about. Okay. I don't know what I don't know what you're talking about. You're probably not talking to me. That's okay. Now we're gonna put it down. Don't forget to remove this center tape, and I have, and if you do, it is no big deal. Turn it over and I line it up as and it's edge to edge. I may be a little out of frame. Line it up as best you can. Ooh, it's long. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, no, 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 oh, this is not going to come off. Oh, boy. That all but electrically attaches itself. Come on, now be nice. This, yeah, I'm, it's just going to have to go down this way. That's okay, I'll trim it up. It's just off of hair. I got it started a wee bit crooked, but that's okay. I will square it up. you got to be. Okay, I just got to trim. I had it a little short on one end. Of course, these boxes aren't perfect, but I cut it. It should be square. Okay, I'm going to trim that off. That's okay. This is a little off on this side. And I better take some more. Make it work. We're going to sand these edges and we're going to stain them as well. So it doesn't have to be perfect. But I'm a little anal, so I don't know. You really probably could no more than I'm taking off. Sand this down. A little down here. Oh, that's paper. I thought, boy, that's grip. That was paper. That. Oh, well, I was off there. I would have been all right on the other end. I have plenty. Okay, there we go. Now, I always take a sanding block and go over the edges for two reasons. It kind of bevels the cut. I don't know if you've noticed or not, uh, and I noticed when I was making that coin envelope. Um, when you cut some, there's a right, ooh, there's a right and wrong side when you cut something. Uh, some of it kind of stands up on one side and uh, lays rounded or what beveled on the other side when you, and especially in steel dies when you do anything if you do a cut something out with a steel die like your tins dies or 
well, any of them, quite frankly, the steel die, you want your right side, uh, I mean, down on the die. Here's your wrong side, here's your right side on the die, because when that comes through, that will round those edges on your little project thing, or your little tag, or whatever you're cutting, and it that, in my opinion, is the right side. Okay, now I'm going to take walnut stain. Any questions? I can't see. Okay, we're talking about kitty cats. I had a kitty cat, Farley, years ago. Poor little Farley. He got that cat poisoning, uh, urinic poisoning or something. He was only four and a half years old and he passed away. He was my daughter's cat. She brought him home as a kitten from the playground, from the playground, from school, not the playground. She was in high school. Uh, so we're going to stain the, oh, this is going to be pretty already. I love this paper. And when you when you cover these, it's so funny. They just feel so good. And then bend it, and there's your spine. There is the outside of our book, Margaret Ann. Isn't it cute. And there's our spine, and I don't know why. Here's this. We'll cover that up. Now we're going to do the very same thing to the center. We've got to choose another paper. And we only need one. Uh, I don't want that one. Well, what do we want, girls? Let's see. Let's go back. I don't want that. I don't want that. We could do the top of that. I don't want to get into the... Um, let me see. We got the balloons. I don't want to get into this corset. Um, I don't. I don't want a stripe. Because if I get it on there crooked, it'll look great. Oh, we could do one of these golds. I love the gold. We could do the hats. What do you guys think? We could do one of the gold. We could do. Uh, Stripes, Margaret Ann. You want the stripes? Ew. Well, if I get them crooked, then they'll look silly. You want the stripes? Let me see. Let me see. I don't know. You want them to go up and down or across? Up and down would be easier than then I couldn't make a mistake. Do you guys like the stripes? Let's see what now. Use one half with the hats and the other with the stripes. Um, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. I like the hats. What was crazy about the stripes? I like the gold. Where are the hats? I do like the hats. Where are they? Where are you? Pretty dark. Where are the hats? I want them to be the same, really. A lot of cut aparts. Here are the hats. Want to do the hats? Let's do the hats. Gold <laughs> hats. Barry said hats. Fran said gold, and and Margaret Ann wants both. I want them the same. I'm going to do the hats. I'm going to do the hats. I like the hats too. I'm sorry. We'll use the other stuff probably, maybe with tags or something. I like the hats as well. I know. Okay, what was our measurement? Let's see again. It was five. 
I'm going to make it a little over five. Okay, it's got to go this way, right? Yeah. anything exciting going on with any of you girls that we need to know about okay we're going to do the same I like this back too Ooh. we're going to splice this together with our little tape Not crooked, but that's okay. I ordered score tape. It's getting a little low. I placed a big order the other day. I'm out of room. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Well, that spread on me a little bit, but it'll be okay. Because we're going to cover it up. Okay, there we are. Spliced together. See it spread. A little bit, but we're going to cover that up with our um, hinge, our hinge system, period. It's just a hinge system. We become so apologetic over various things. It is derived from hinge systems I've seen. It's not mine, it's not anybody's. It's been on the agenda bookmaking for a hundred years or more, mostly. Where's Miss Pris today? Where's so many? Sandra. Xandra's getting ready for the social event of the year. While they're gone, we're going to have some fun. Barry has all kinds of neat things planned. I say she's probably sitting there saying, I do? Really? What are they? <laughs> she will. She's thinking about it. I don't know if you want me to post dimensions on this or not. I can. I'm written down. I don't have them typed down. I do have them written down. I'll put another one along here. And along here. My office phone is unplugged. My cell phone is turned off. My earrings are on. We're good to go. I love pulling this tape off. Oh, oh I don't like that. For goodness sakes. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> All that didn't glue down, so I'm stuck to it. I made a, an album out of By the Sea, like we did in class. Well, kind of, it's the bigger one, uh, but the same premise as the tag album. Anyway, I made it for my daughter's mother-in-law's birthday. It was the 13th, and they have a lake home. We had a lake cottage. They, had a, they have a lake home. And anyway, uh, By the Sea, and Courtney said, oh, she'd love it, and... and Brian's dad is constantly taking pictures of the grandkids and so she wanted me to make her one and they're going up there this weekend and I oh no oh no oh no oh I'll fix it 
now. I yeah, I forget. I do that all the time. I forget things are sticking. Sticky. I've done that many times, but this will be fine. It fixes it. There we go. Now I'll probably have something on there anyway. And it's the back. You can't even see it. Uh, so anyway, I took it out last night. And I had an old bag. And Walker's there. And as I say, Wednesday's his, tomorrow's his little birthday. And he said, oh, Grammy, did you bring me a present? <laughs> I said, no, it's for your Mimi. He calls her Mimi. Okay, here we go. Be as close as you can get. And be careful, because I want to tell you, it's a like, it just is. Okay, I gotta do. Okay, I think it's all right. Yeah, that's fine. Don't forget. Oh well, I made a little. Sh that's okay. That's all right. Uh, cut the ends off, and then square it up. I got it a little shy on one side, a little over. It was really cut perfect. I can't see the chat. Because I've increased the size of the thing so I could see it better. And that makes the chat clear down below. I'm just dressing out these edges. Uh, let me see this one. These are fun to make. You could make this any size. And with a cracker box, you can make several, quite frankly. Okay. We are, there it is. There's the front. There's the inside. Isn't that cute? It's dimensional. I mean, we, it's dimensional. It's, uh, I know, Jenny. You do, Margaret Ann. You have more wiggle room. You certainly do. And, and, uh, glue would be fine. I, the only thing I have, and I've, I've used it for years, I used to paint it on, uh, is, uh, it gets wet. And it sometimes warps, and then when it dries out, then it's it's okay. But uh, I think for the show, but I've been using score tape more and more. But oh yeah, I used to use a book binding glue uh, by great big bottles. I still have some, and it's fantastic. In fact, I've run out of uh, uh, Scotch glue before, and I've just taken my bottle and. Put, and filled it up with that book binding glue and it's a fast drying as well. In fact I've got some I want to do that and use it up. Okay we're going oh I can't see you. We are okay we are um, doing our edges next we're going to make the uh, hinge and get that on and then we'll be done with well we won't be done with the book but with that part and then we'll start on our bags it just feel I don't know why it just with two layers of paper on this it just feels so good okay it is oh, glue all over me Okay, now gingerly fold this, but I, because now you've got two layers of paper. You know, don't be, where is it, back here. Be careful, it wraps around there, but be careful. Knock on wood, I lucked out. There's our there's our book. There's our spine. Now there's a you know where we can but we'll put something down that spine. Uh, after we get the the um, binding on it, the uh, hinge system, you, then you can put a, a grommet a hole there to hang charms on if you'd like. I didn't the other one. So there we go. Now we're going to do our. Uh, binding system and I'm going to because the paper bags the paper bags are craft 
uh, I'm going to use the craft paper. Um, they have this is scrap a dab a do the bags, everything. Here they are. The measurements I gave those Carol the measurements on these bags. They're four and a half wide and eight nine inches virtually eight and seven eighths nine inches. But we're going to cut the end off uh, long. Of course, they have the gusset, etc. Okay, let's lay our little book over here. My paper's messed up. We're going to use the flange, <laughs> the whatever system. This is a takeoff on Kathy Orchis. I do it a little different now. It doesn't make it mine. I don't know if anybody's done it. Maybe they have. I don't care. It's the way I'm doing it because I did it this way on uh, on our uh, uh, tag book. I want a really clean look, and I, I I like putting these together this way. And then when I put this on, it'll just be. I gotta fix that. It'll just be a really clean. Uh, Look, I, I just like that really clean finished look. I gotta cut this off. What it is and why it is there. Okay. Where that butted up. Okay. So to do this, um, this is twelve inches long. Oh, and it has to be twelve inches long and five inches wide. So we're gonna cut it down to five inches by 12 inches. It's always the width of your spine where you're going to, the width in here. So that is five inches. You can make it a little, you know, four and a half or whatever, but you're, well, no, I take that back. It's the size of our paper. I take that back. It's four and a half inches. What we're going to attach to this, I take, I'm sorry, is four and a half inches. Four and a half inches. So it's 12 inches long and four and a half inches wide. Then we're going to score it. Now I, I've done this two or three different ways. I've, I've used an inch and a half and whatever. I think an inch is plenty. I start out with an inch. One inch. Then we're going to do a half inch, a half inch, and a quarter inch. Then we're going to do a half inch, half inch, quarter inch. Half inch, half inch, quarter inch. Half inch, half inch, quarter inch. Now each one of these half halves is a, a, a thin. So I've got one, two, three, four. I only need two more. So now I am at the half inch, half inch, quarter inch, half inch, half inch. Now I do not need a quarter inch on that last fin. One, two, one, two, three. God, I can't get. One, two, three, four, five, six. The last one I don't need. And I need an inch because I've got an inch on this side. So where did I end up? I ended up at eight. So I need an inch. It's eight and a quarter. Cut at nine and a quarter. So you start out with an inch, half inch, half inch, quarter. That's your space in between. Half inch, half inch, quarter. Half inch, half inch, quarter. All the way. And the last fin is a half inch, half inch, and then the one inch to fold under. I fold those under now. I think it makes it sturdier and it makes a cleaner look. Now, these side pieces, these wings, if you just put your pattern paper, uh, I mean, you, you, you could, well, they could be like this and, and, and then you, you put your, cover your interior of your, of your book with individual sheets. Uh, you could cover that up. I like this covered up. And, and you could do it that way if you'd like. I just happen to like the way this has come out. I, I don't know. It was kind of by accident. And uh, so now we're going to fold. 
I sometimes have a terrible time folding these. Uh oh, well, that's crooked. That is, hello. Take your phone folder, if you can find it. Let's see, what's wrong here? That's not quite right. What's wrong? I'm folding on that gap in between that quarter inch gap. Well, I got it. If you get them crooked, which I have, that quarter inch is hard to fold. Kind of go back and burnish those before we tape them down. This doubled uh, accordion plate makes the fans stronger uh, than a single. And I, I've used another system where it's just a single fan, but this does make it stronger. Uh, and as I say, I like. Oh, what was that? This paper is kind of tough. Okay. Hmm. This quarter inch, I must not have got them scored real deep. They're a little harder to fold. I can't see the chat. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Now you turn it over, and you are going to tape on the half inch. I'm going to use 3 8 10. You're going to tape every other half inch. As you fold those together, that's one set. You move up. You don't tape. You move up. You take nothing on. Well, you do tape on the, but you tape it later. I suppose you could do it now. I'm going to do it later. You tape on that uh, quarter inch after you get these together. Burnish them down. I'm going to check the chat. Okay. Now you pull off the tape backing and fold it down. There's one pen. Two fans. This is so easy. It really is, and it really is a nice binding system, I think. Fold it down. And as I say, I really do think with that double, it makes it stronger. I mean, this is paper, you know. And if it's going to be used a lot, you know, that type of thing, you want to nice and sturdy and you certainly can use glue on this as well uh, and I tape I tape it to put put the pages on okay there we go there's our six little fans aren't they cute now I'm going to burnish them
paper is nice and stiff and by you know two two uh, thicknesses and you want your pages to turn and not stand up they will certainly I know our, our big I mean our our uh, waterfall on our folio stands up until it's used a lot okay there it is now the part is that is different than I do is I fold these under like so and tape them together and the only thing you have standing up is your fins so I turn them over tape them down then I put tape on this as well put tape on the inside where your little quarter inch things are tape those down then I put tape on the outside and mount it on my book gives a really really clean look especially if you're using a continuous uh, piece of paper and in smaller books you know a 12 inch wide paper you don't maybe have to it depends on the size of your book you don't have to splice it I'm going to have a drink of tea so I am now going to take down my side pieces I'm using three-quarter inch tape. I'm going to do it along the edge and one kind of off-center. There again, this you want nice and sturdy. What are you guys making? Anything exciting? Have any of you started the little folio? Turned on the other day and somebody else was making a folio. Okay. Pull off the tape backing. Lay it down. Have your fins going one way. It's easier. And then just fold this over. Can you see? Fold that over. That's why an inch, an inch and a quarter would be fine. I think the first time I did it was an inch and a half, and it was too wide, and I had to cut it down. An inch is fine. It's just going to lap over. There again, it makes the base of this sturdier as well. Turn this over. Stick it down. There we go. And all you virtually have up front are your six fins. I, th I thought I can't make sure I had six. I do. Now we're going to put tape along this as well because we're going to tape this down to our book. You lay it flat, it's easier. A little crooked. I don't know why. Who knows? I tell you, I just don't know. I started it crooked. Pull off your tape backing. Okay, see, I've got tape all across the back, and all we have up here now is just our little fins. Pull off. I think it makes it sturdier and it makes a neater look. Um, I do think, as I say, now I got to get this. This is directional. The hats are not. The hats go up and down and all the way around, but this is directional. Well, it doesn't matter with this either. I get. Okay. So we are going to put this in the middle. It is going to cover up. We're going to have it about a, a quarter of an inch or so, three-eighths of an inch down and about a quarter of an inch on each side to center it and stick it down. Covers up. There it is. There's our little binding.
or whatever. Well, this is still a little stiff. Okay, that is virtually, other than our embellishments, we got a little bit more on one side than the other. That's okay. It's could have been moved over a little bit. That is virtually our book, other than decorating. Any questions? Hi, PM. Ashley's ruler. Oh, the ruler out. Hi, Jane. Hi, PM. Or Jane. <laughs> Sheila. Okay. Any questions? Hi, PM. Well, that's okay. You got here. We're working right along. Okay, now we are going to start on our bags. It's a paper bag album. It's very simple. Uh, I have a little twist on it that's a little different. Thought I saw it the other day, and it's not. <laughs> it's not the same, but maybe you know. And it's not, but someone might misconstrue it. Who knows? I don't care. Um, paper bag, bag, I mean, everybody has made paper bag albums. Everybody. Uh, what color ink did I use? Uh, I, I used, um, uh, oh God, a walnut stain, Amanda. Is that, if you're talking to me, I used walnut stain. The paper collection is, um, uh, Bo Bunny's uh, Somewhere in Time. I have to move this down because it's Somewhere in Time, Bo Bunny's and Walnut Stain. Uh, the envelopes are craft. Uh, you need six, not envelopes, the bags, the sandwich, what do you want to call them? You need six of them and they're uh, almost nine inches by, I think, four, uh, four and a half. They're nine inches by four and a half, but we're going to cut them down to eight inches, and that's the first. I'm going to get a better one. Uh, Scrap it ever do has all kinds of envelopes. I almost got a sugar in my hand. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to set our little book aside. I'm going to take your uh, paper bags and you're going to cut them down uh, to eight inches. Oh, boy. Let me see. Mm -hmm. No, we're not. We're going to cut them down. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. We're going to cut them down to seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters. Let me measure this other one and see. Measured them, but I thought Yeah, they're seven and three quarters. I apologize. I said on the onset, but they're set cut them down to seven and three quarters on uh, the end off of each bag On your cutter To go over a couple times and sometimes you might have to snip the end Unless you have a better cutter, seven and three quarters on each bag. See that just, and of course, they're a little thicker. Take that in, and this is what you cut off. Those are belly bands. We want to save them for belly bands. I save everything. Just 
still didn't quite get that very last cut. Six of them. This is such a cute little project. It's very, you can make one in a day, afternoon, you need something in a hurry for a, a gift that night type thing, or you forgot somebody's, oh, I forgot somebody's birthday, which I, I had, I was invited to an anniversary party of one of my classmates, and uh, I forgot. I didn't have it on my camera. I was absolutely going to go. Alita and I started first grade together. Uh, we went all through school together, and I forgot. Uh, I found the invitation among some mail. I felt really, really bad, so uh, I had made her an album to take. And it was here, and it was up there with everything else, so who would know? And uh, so I just mailed it out with a card yesterday and apologized and all those things. Okay, I'm not saving the belly bands. Now what we're going to do, this is going to be our pocket, and it's a short pocket. We're going to cut the back off of this just a sliver. We're going to glue this down, and we're going to cover this up. This is going to be our pocket. This we're going to cut down, and that's where we're going to attach this to our fin, like so. And that's it. That is all there is. So, the first thing I'm going to do, and I'm, I do this with my craft knife, because you just want to cut... A sliver and I know that's not a very deep pocket but it it will be I mean it'll be deep, and deep enough to put uh, you know to put our tag in there and, and what I showed you so I'm gonna take my craft knife and just a sliver off of this end just to open it up you leave that you leave this folded up just like it comes in the package because we're gonna cover that up any questions before I start cutting? Let me check. Yeah, Margaret Ann. Uh, oh, yeah. And then they, and I, I, I do feel bad I didn't go. I wanted to go. I had planned on going. I really, really did. And I see her, they live out of town, but I see them at our class reunions. Um, just a sliver. There is a sliver. There is a sliver. This opens this up in the back. Now we're going to take some glue, and we're going to glue this down right in here. But I'm going to cut these first. You see how that separate we're going to glue those down so there is our opening to attach to our spine that fits well i'm going to have to chamfer uh, angle the edges it'll fit um so i'm going to i'm going to cut these first then we're going to glue those down um just a sliver you could trim those off with scissors, maybe. I don't know. I just always use my craft knife to do this. Now you're going through several layers as well. There again. There it is. It's opened up. And we'll glue down those little wings. You can decorate these any way you like. You can the bag, the whole thing. Okay, make sure it's open. There we go. This is not like any I've seen. However, <laughs> I'm sure it's probably out there. There's another one. So easy.
Yeah, I wrote, I, I sent her a nice card, and or I included a card and apologized and groveled as much as I possibly could and, and told her I hope she could use the little album, you know, to put the pictures in that they, that they took at the uh, party. Her husband is president of our class. Okay, there's the last one. They're all like so. Ooh, well, I gotta glue that down now, but that's okay. That'll be covered up. Uh, I'm gonna go back and do that now. So we're gonna go in here. I gotta glue this down because it I'm loose. And then glue down these little just along the edge of uh, just the inside where these little wings are. Make sure you don't glue down your opening that you just cut. I gotta get it wide. So you go in and you just glue down those wings. Ooh, just glue down those wings like so. See? These are going to be covered up. It's just all one flapping around. Just a bead of glue. You don't have to glue the outside down. Ooh. I almost did a show the other night. Uh, Ashley's got a new baby. And I thought, you know, I might go on and just pedal around and do something, but I don't know. I got busy doing something and didn't do it. Um, Xandra's probably getting ready for the big to-do, and Dawn, and whoever's going, I don't know who all's going from our group, quite a few, I think. Okay, I have those glued down. Now, I also, and that's not big enough, I also did a... A thumb, uh, uh, pull. I also did a thumb pull and I used a one inch, I think it's a one inch, uh, round punch. I just did it, and I just eyeball this, but I just did it the center. As best I can. Now, as you know, on your punches, there's a line right here on the side, and that's halfway. So you can put your punch in and line that up with that line, which is telling you you're halfway in, and you want to line that up center, and then punch. So, and there's your there is your thumb punch. I think I yeah. <laughs> There's your thumb punch. So I'm going to do that while that's drawing. The halfway. You know, I didn't know that for a long time. I really didn't. Uh, and I'm sure you do, but maybe we got some newbies. It doesn't. Uh, I don't know what I was doing. It's been a long time ago, but they were showing this and, and mentioned, and I thought, oh, really? <laughs> Halfway, huh?
Okay, we're about there. Okay, there we go. So we've got them cut along the end. We've got them glued down, the little wing things. Uh, and we've got our thumb punched, hole punched. Hi, Kathleen. I didn't mean to miss you. I, uh... I can't read the chat at the bottom because I've increased my uh, I have increased the size so I uh, so I can see myself better while I'm working okay any questions any questions questions okay we have our bags ready look at this uh, we're going to attach our bags. Now, there again, you certainly can use, uh, I'm going to have to cut these corners because I think this is going to be a little tight for some reason. I'm going to angle my corners. And I've been doing that more lately as well on these fins. They just kind of slide under better. And this seemed to be a little tight. Um, I don't know what I was saying. I could have done this before I put them on. No, I didn't. They just kind of, and it's, you know, there's plenty to attach. I use score tape on both sides. Uh, I have certainly have used glue. You certainly can. You certainly do have more wiggle room. But I've been using glue again. I kind of went back and forth. I'm going to use the 3 8 glue and, or uh, score tape. Oh, before I do that, well, I'll, I'll put the tape on. Then I, did I? Yes. Then I want to, um, um, use ink on the bags, go over the bags, distress the bags. Pretty paper. Pretty paper. Ooh. These are stiff. They really are stiff. Want you guys to make one or two or three. Margaret Ann, make one for your friend and then post it, please. You guys have posted things. I haven't seen one yet of the folio. I did finally post a picture. Somebody had emailed me and wanted a picture. And we'll finish it up. We got a project. Is Barry still here? Miss Barry Baberry. We do have a project coming up where the girls are gone. It's a couple weeks. So I, I'm going to finish that up. Uh, Folio Tuesday, and then, ooh, that's getting stiff. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. May do an altered canvas. Now, I don't do the same type of altered canvas as some. If you're thinking about the uh, Prima sprays I ordered more I really do like them and I did Jenny I did I had about oh a little over half less than three quarters of uh, that tea stain in fact I'm going to use some of the flowers that I sprayed last night some of the 
roses and flowers I'm going to use with that tea stain. And with only one spray, it makes it look like a craft color. It's really pretty and glimmery. Um, now this I do have to make sure I'm... Um, I, but I did fill it up with more water and it was fine. I take off one side of the score tape. I place this on top like so and stick it down on the back. And then I go back in. Uh, I go back in and catch that score tape. And this can be a little tricky. It's not hard. It loosens it up. I go in, take my tweezers, catch it. Oh, come on. Catch it. Hi, Molly. Hi, babies. Pull it out. And then I stand it up and stick it down. Oh, is that out of frame? Stick it down. So there's, and I start at the back. I think it's easier. And then we're going to glue these down. I should have done that. That's okay. So we're going to pull off the ta tape backing. Hi, babies. How are you? Daddy's gone and he's lonesome. Uh, stand it up. Stick it down. Open it up and kind of lift that tape up. Catch it with your tweezers. And pull it out. Oh, come on. Pull it out. I stand it back up and then press it down. There's two. There's two. Go lay down your baby bed, sweetie. You're all right. Go lay down. Mummy's on you straight. You don't like it, do you? Lay down. Okay, put it down. Press it down on the back. Open that let that up in front. Catch that tape. It loosens up pretty well. I usually use the tips of my scissors or my uh, pull it out. Stand it back up and stick it down. Now these are not glued down. The we're gonna put paper, designer paper. Uh on top of that, and it'll take care of that. Yeah, great. <laughs> Put the baby wipe on top of the... If you guys have any questions, let me know. This one's kind of hidden. Hold it up. And stick it down. I I love making books, and I I started out as a card maker, and that's all I did until I started about ten years ago. Watching YouTube's, and there used to be a program on. It was a fifteen minute pro it was before I even learned about YouTube and UStream and all that. And it was on every Friday. I forget something TV. I forget what it was. Had some really great gals on there. Uh, and I watched it every Friday. I'd get up to watch it in my coffee. It was early in the morning. And that was the fastest 15 minutes I ever spent in my life. Because, oh, I wanted to see more. And I and maybe there were YouTube programs and Ustream back then as well. I don't know. But I didn't know it. Oh, I wish I had a Stand it up and glue it down. Uh, I don't know when and how I discovered I discovered Ustream through YouTube. I accidentally came across a crafter on Ustream, and they also had. Uh, I mean YouTube, and they also had a Ustream show. Never heard of Ustream. And I'm, I was off and running. That's been a long time ago. Okay. About got them down. There, there they are. There's our pages. 
There's our little book. Margaret Ann, I was with Margaret the other day and I was telling her about you. She said, tell her hi. <laughs> uh, I sold her house. She uh, lost her husband a few years ago and the house is too big and all these things. So we've sold her house and trying to find her a condo because she's got a place in Florida. And we were talking and, and whatever. And she was saying something about Scotland is thinking about subsiding from England. Is that true? Uh, they're going to take a vote on it and try to be independent again or something. I don't know. But uh, she had mixed feelings about that. She has a, she could have a dual citizenship, but I don't think she does. But she does have a U.S. citizenship. Okay, there we go. We're at this point. Now, I'm going to go back and I'm going to take a bead of glue and put along these little sides. The reason I'm using glue is because we're going to be sticking tags in there and you don't want them to stick. So I will use glue for that. I probably should have done that before I, but I did. It won't take a minute. I ordered one of the, um, <gasps> what did I do? I know what I did. Okay. I put the thumb thing, oh, no, I didn't. This is, I'm doing it back. Okay. I thought I put the thumb thing on the wrong side. I'm doing this upside down. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing <laughs> This is the front. Okay. Okay. Um, I ordered one of the, uh, um, thin line, whatever, bottle to put your thing in. I ordered a bunch of, I ordered the, uh, Halloween paper or whatever from uh, Graphic 45, uh, yesterday and all of it's in, I had been ordering, when I order anything anymore, I didn't used to do this, I order all the, most all of the embellishments. Now, I don't always... A lot of your, like this one, for example, this Bow Bunny collection comes with the alphas. I don't usually use the alphas. I mean, I have them. I got tons of them from different collections. Um, but they're there if I'd want them or need them. But if they're if they're separate, I usually don't order them. But the, especially the chipboard pieces, I love, love, love the stickers because you can take them out and put them on a uh, put them on a uh, piece of chipboard. I'm going to hold this for a minute. What's going on? Is Carol, oh, with Carol Duvall. Yeah, that's right. I used to watch Carol Duvall, uh, but hers was so generic. Well, there was another one I watched too. I watched her, but there was another one. Uh, uh, the longest for hers, but she was really the only. Now, there was another one. I love the embellishments, too, Gwen. I always order. Yeah, uh, I do 2 p.m. Because, I, you know, um, oh, yeah, that Sandy Geneva. The, yes, she was so good. Uh, and then, there, well, uh, you have me on. Chipboard, what, Gwen? Helen, you have me on the chipboard aspect. You lifted a pick up on the frame. It was fab. You have me on the chipboard aspect. Lifted a pick up on chipboard. Oh, I'll bet it was. Yeah, that's Sandy. She was really good. And then there was somebody on there that came on a little bit later. There was, oh, and, and this one this one thing that wasn't Duvall's program, this other program, they had a craft program, which is like we do, and then they also started a little jewelry program, and it didn't go over very well. But they had a gal on there that did crafts and jewelry, and, uh, 
She was very good. She was very good at both. I got into a little bit of jewelry, and I sit here and made 10,000 pair of earrings in about an hour, and I thought, what am I going to do with them? I can't wear them because I've got an allergy towards metal, other than gold. Uh, and uh, I only have two or three pair, and that's all I wear. See, I've got them on today. I've got my earrings on today. See? Um, anyway, they were good. And then, as I say, at that point in time, I don't know whether they were Ustream programs or YouTube programs or not. Uh, I didn't watch any because I waited weekly. So here we go. Now, we've got this where you can put in your tags. Well, we're not going to put on tags. We're going to put in your uh, photo mats. We're going to put in these photo mats. And I gave you dimensions. And let me measure them. Make sure they're right. The mat itself is five and a half by three and a half. No, no. Five and a half by three and three quarters. The mat itself is five and a half by three and three quarters. I'm going to make me a note so I don't screw it up. Mat. Five and a half by three and three quarters. Now, the, the designer paper that we're going to use is five and a quarter by three and a half. Okay? So we're going to cut our mats. I just used... You could use any color paper you want to use, and I'm going to use the black. Uh, oh, oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to do our bags. We're going to burnish our, or we're going to stain our bags. Oh, my, my, my. There again, I did all of them. It would have been easier, but it's okay. I forgot to do them. It's all right. We'll get them done. I don't have to be too careful. Oh, I gab too much. I did not cover the, the page. You can with pattern paper. I just covered the flap and then I covered the back with two identical photo mats. The pages are all done the same. There again, it's your book. Do whatever you wish. I like to see different ideas. Oh, I should have done this to begin with. Oh, well. I have before many times taken uh, syrup boxes. I started saving them first. Uh, and then I was throwing away, and of course they're bigger, they're taller, and all that. I took the, the, the side pieces uh, off of the syrup boxes and uh, covered them and made uh, bookmarks. I belong to two book clubs. Uh, at Barnes and Noble, and I, I covered, I made them, I forget how long I made them, and I covered them and, uh, with pattern paper and made bookmarks out of them and gave them to the girls. Um, and they're nice and sturdy. When you cover them like this on both sides, and they're nice and uh, sturdy bookmarks, of course, you can't embellish them too much, and then I put a grommet at the top with a, a long ribbon and whatever. Um, so I don't know when I started saving the Ritz crackers, and I think I did because it felt a little sturdier, but it also was smaller. Now that is kind of stupid because you can certainly cut down those big Kellogg boxes, um, which I have. I, I've used to cut both sides off of them and just have the two, the front and the back, and cut off the uh, the two sides, and then I would run them through my little old machine that I forget what they're called and then I would stick them together or score tape or whatever stick them together and if you put about three or four of those together 
you have uh, a chipboard consistency. There we go. That's good enough. Okay. Now I'm going to use, i got to get up and get it. I apologize. I'm going to use black paper for, um, for these. Okay, okay, okay. Now, what did I say? So, uh, I'm going to put our other one over here that's finished. Here we are. We're at this point. Uh, five and a half by three and three quarters. Well, if you're a card maker, an H card in over here, we have eight and a half by eleven paper. And if you cut it at five and a half, that's half. I cut that in five and a half. And then you fold that at the four and a quarter, that's an A2 card. So we need three pieces. Oh so wait a minute. No we don't. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> da, da, da. Five and a half by three and three I want to make sure that's going to fit before I cut a dozen of them. Yeah, it fits. Okay. You can get four. Oh, okay. Four out of uh, and we need six, so we still need one and a half pieces. So there's four. Five and a half, three and three quarters, three and three quarters. Oh, have paper every place. One, two, three, four, five. You only need six of those because we only have. We only have um, now. I took a seat. Well, while I'm cutting our tags, uh, where's my? Oh, well, I moved it. What did? Oh, here. It is. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my tags. I forget what they are. They're seven and a half. By four. Okay, seven and a half by four. Cut that at seven and a half, and then we're going to do four and four. You can get more out of a 12 by 12, but I don't want to get up and find it. And we need six of those. Um. Uh, you could make extra tags. I told you on the onset, one side of this pocket is more shallow. It's uh, six. Uh, so if you want to put double tags, you certainly could. Uh, and they're just shorter. Um, which would be cute. Quite frankly, make them a different color. What do I do? Okay. Okay, there's six tags. Let me make sure. One, two, three, four. Am I out of frame? I'm sorry. I am. Okay. Any questions? It's coming up on. I do too, uh, Fran. I like the black and the tan and the craft. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, and then we're going to do uh, on the back, but let's let's deal with these right now. Now I take these. Uh, these are these are great 
tags or you know this paper that's left. These can be made uh, construction strips so don't throw these types of things away. Now I'm going to take my angle chopper and I'm going to angle the corners like a uh, tag of course, duh, and uh, I'm going to do two at a time. I'm going to do three but I think I'll do two. I'm going to do the angle on each side and then we're going to punch a hole later. We'll put a grommet in it. I really want to get this done today. I don't think we're going to. I'll work over a little bit, but I want to embellish it and everything. Okay, there are the tags. There are the tags. Put a grommet, grommet in it with a ribbon. There are the tags. Now on the... Uh, uh, photo mats, I cornered all four corners to tie in with the tags, but to, they're not tags, they're photo mats. I love these chompers. Oh, I do, I do. We don't have, I mean, I don't think it'll take that long to finish up our folio next Tuesday. Uh, I don't think. Who knows? I didn't. I thought I might get this all done today, but I don't think so. So we could finish it up as far as embellishing and the same as on this and finish them both up the same day. So you all got to come back. Okay, there is the, um, any questions? Okay, there are the mats. Now we're going to have to pick out pattern paper and cover the mats. We don't cover we don't cover the uh, tags, of course. And then I'm going to chomp the edges of those. Okay, the the uh, mats. Oh, let me get. To my paper. I've got paper every place, scraps every place. Okay. I don't think that's big enough, is it? You know, that's big enough. That's not. I have some scraps here. I don't know if I want to use that or not. Um, I usually use three different designs, and uh, have two of each, each one, and we're going to cover it like this. Cut it a quarter of an inch smaller, and then we're going to corner the edges as well. We've got this and this I like. These are cut apart. Like, I like, I like, I like it all. Let's just do. Okay. This. To, oh, so this and this. And we got the hats. Well, let's see how we get along. I, I hate to. I, I've got a scrap of this as well. Okay. These are cut. At uh, what did I say? Five and a quarter by three and a half. Okay, five and a quarter by three and a half. I don't know. Well, that's five and a quarter. And that's not three and a half. Of course not. Of course not.
Okay, there's two. There's two. See, this is directional. I did it that Let me tell you, that's close enough. I'm not going to waste any paper. Oh, I can't stand it. See, I'm so anal. I cannot stand it. It has to be perfect. Okay. All right. It's just paper. It's only paper. Two, two, four, six, eight. Oh, I needed six. What I do? I did four. Well, that's okay because I can change it. All right, and we've got to do we've got to cut papers for our the tops of our uh, um, sacks or the bottoms of our paper bags. Okay, I know I'm going to use these two. Uh, these boy, is that right? Yeah, they're a little different. I really like this. I just sat here and told you that I used three papers. Margaret Ann wanted the stripes. We're going to use the stripes, Margaret Ann. And we're going to save this because we might use this on the ends. Okay, here we go. Now, before I put these down, I am going to burnish them. With... Oh... Walnut stain. How that happened? That didn't get cut. I like this walnut stain. It's not as red. Now, uh, we're going to go over a little as we normally do. So I hope you can stay. I always go over half hour seems like I thought we could get this finished today but I guess not I guess it took longer than I thought and I think I've been moving right along I any questions I'll check the bottom I have to roll all the way at the bottom because as I say I increased this and I can't I have to move the, oh here we go again I have to move the uh, screen all the way down to the bottom to see the last last of the chat I like this draw this zebra whatever it is not zebra but it's chevron type okay now I'm going to use my ATG gun on this that's all you need for this And put it in and lay it down with a little extra all the way around. About a quarter of an inch. That one's fine.
It's a such pretty paper. You and I'll show you here in a minute. I didn't. I might later on. I uh, I didn't cover the big part of the sack on the front where these go down in. I covered the back with two separate photo mats, two smaller ones. So it virtually covers the back of the page. Scrap a dabby do has new thing. Oh, here we go. Of course, we couldn't get through this without. Ah. Okay. Has all kinds of new things coming in. I went the other day. Oh, berry, berry, berry. The ribbon. I ordered ribbon and on. Oh, my. Carol sent me some ribbon for our new project. Oh, my goodness sakes. It is absolutely. I have ribbon like. Xandra has flowers. I mean, I got tubs and tubs of ribbon. Uh, my daughter in her office area, she put a wrapping station that you hang on the wall. I forget where she got it, but it's really cool. And you put wrapping paper on it and ribbon and whatever. And she says, Mom, you need one of these for your ribbon. I need about 10 of those for my ribbon. It really is clever. Because she wraps a lot of things. She's a good little wrapper. Uh, anyway, the ribbons, the new ribbons, she has new ones coming in, are absolutely gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. Now, I tried to and, and there again, these are loose. You can put them any way you want. Oh, wait a minute. Da, da, da. Da, da. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, they're going to fit down in here. I like this one first. They're going to fit down in here. And they, it's a short pocket. They just fit down, but they fit nicely. And you can, if you want to, cover this. If you do cover this part, you need to do it before you glue down the sides and before you cut the thumb hole or make sure you cut the thumb hole smaller to match the thumb hole in the in the paper sack. I like that. Okay, we have those finished. Uh, well, we'll do this in a minute. This goes in our other book. Now we got to do the. Um, is everybody still here? Any questions? Oh, yeah, Barry, I need that. I need some. I'm going to have behind my closet door, I've got, I've got two shoe, Martha Stewart shoe bags, one on either side of the door, full of punches, and I have three boxes full of punches. But uh, behind my door, I'm going to have some pegboard put up. And, and, you know, a lot of my stuff are like you get at the store that hang on the pegs, and I can get it because I need more room. I just do. Um... Uh, yeah, because I want to tell you, I I have so much of it I don't use because it's getting to it. It's digging it out. Okay, now we're going to cover our little things here. Okay. Now on our on our sample, uh, I used a couple of my. You don't have to. So you're going to cover these. I used a couple of these. You don't have to. You can cover them all with them. I think they're so cute. Or you could put anything on there. Well, I just put a couple because I had them. And then we're going to make these two. Now, these uh, are just the tags. Or the tags. I got tags on the brain. These are just photo mats. And they measure three and a half by four and a quarter. So the photo tags on the back are three and a half by four and a quarter. And I just. Uh, cut them out on the corners. There's two of the same color on each page, so we'll do that in a minute. Let's do our little uh, our little P 
pieces and with these measure from side to side I didn't because I don't like that measure um, these measure four and a half by three four and a half by three now we got all kinds of paper three four and a half by three and all these papers correlate uh, so I just start cutting uh, let's see okay this is four and a half by three I sit in bed at night oh. um, and watch my iPad and watch YouTube. You can't watch uh, well the only time you can watch YouTube on your iPad is if it's live and I do do that four and a half three but I watch uh, I mean you stream the only time you can watch you stream on your iPad is if it's live and I do uh, and I wish we could I don't know well I know why but I uh, I'd like to watch the record because sometimes I don't See them live. One, two, three, four, five. We need one more. Oh, mark it down. There's a stripe again. Um, I wish we could uh, watch the recordings of you stream. Okay. Oh, oh no. Okay. I was gonna, when we do that, when we cover the uh, back side of the sacks they're the same well that's the way I did they wouldn't have to be but now these are edge to edge and I didn't trim them or anything but I am oh there's one that's not right of course four and a half by three what did I do wrong That's right. What are these? Four and a half. Is this not four and a half? No, it's not. Okay. Now I'm going to, uh, I might use that back side. I'm not going to put that on. Sometimes when I get these done, then I lay them where I'm going to put them down. Like there, I think I'll put that one there. You'll move your photo mats all around, probably, so they don't really have to match. Ooh, I like this. Oh, I can't just do that. There. Love that paper. That'll go there. You can use your, I mean, I'm not really matching these up with these photo mats because you can put those photo mats any place. I did that. So we are going to use the stripes, Margaret Ann. Okay, there. There. What happened? Do I not have enough? Oh boy. Thought I did. Oh, 
put two in there. And that'll there. And there. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm kind of matching those up, but as I say, you're going to be moving your, you can move around your um, other things. I think I need it. I think I need a new, a new pad. I do. Okay, now we're going to put these down with uh, uh, ATG as well. You girls okay? Are you still with me? And these go edge to edge. I'm going to cover that up. Okay. See? There we go. This is just a simple little nondescript book, but I think it's cute. I think it's easy. I think it's functional. It hasn't got a lot of, you know, flip pages and all and on, but you don't always, I don't think, need that. Certainly have made them, and uh oh, what did I do? Uh oh, uh oh, I got that too close, and now it's not wanting to fold. Of course not. You know, we have to at least redo something. Now you can't have it over that simply because then it doesn't want to. Fold. Now let me see. Now yeah, it's still caught on this end too. I'm sorry. Now we're gonna have to do some of this over. Yeah, you got to get it back. I had it too close. Should be okay. Yeah, there we go. These pages kind of stand up a little bit. They're a, a little stiff. It's in my way. Let me move it. Uh, they certainly will wear down and lay flat. Sometimes I put a weight on them. Uh, There again, watch the edge. This should be okay. Where am I? One, two, three, four, ooh, five. I like stripes too, though. I really do. I'm real care careful when I use them though because you know they can look real crooked okay. and one more Okay, we have those on. So here, it, here we have that covered up. That's the end of the sack. We have our photo mats made. They slide in there. We have our 
tags made that go in there. I just don't, you know, we're going to put a grommet in them and a ribbon. There's page two. Same thing. These in the back. Page three. When these get loosened up, they slide in better. That's wrong. Oh, I got it in the wrong. Yeah, you got to put it in the back side. I, I think I showed that earlier. Um, there. You put the long ones in the back part, in the back part, because this is shorter. They won't go all the way down. And to make these, you got to make a six inch long uh, tag, which you can't. You can make a six inch long tag a different color in blue and then make the other in black or whatever, and then the long one fits in the back. You can put all kinds of memorabilia and things inside these bags. I mean a lot of... Uh, I made a side mounted one from a YouTube uh, a gal had on. I really like... I'm not going to make it, but I I really liked it. I made it a long time ago. It's really cool. And then, you know, some of them open them up and do things with them. We're going to do that. Okay, there we are. We have the tags in. We have the photo mats on the front. We have the front. Oh, I didn't put any of our little, well, that's okay. I didn't put any uh, on this one, any of our little envelopes. And we made one. Um, then I got on the back, we've got to put on the uh, double photo mats. And those are the same paper. I'll have the, I'm going to finish up here for the day. Uh, I'm going to have these cut out uh, for ne for uh, next week on, on my channel. Have those cut out. I'll probably put the grommets and the ribbons in there. And then we'll finish up the outside with the embellishments and whatever. Because I want to, you know, that takes a little time. And it's already a quarter after three. And you guys probably have other things you need to do. But that's where we are. I, I really kind of thought we might get this done. but And then I'm going to put something down here. And I might put a hole in there to put some... Uh, uh, charms on which I didn't. Uh, let me get down here where I can see the chat. Uh, uh, question What size are they? What size are what? Or are you talking, Fran? Are you talking to somebody else? Close to Alabama. Oh, bah. And uh, whatever. Are there any questions? Thank you, Fran. Well, we're going to finish it up. Uh, we're going to finish it up Tuesday. Uh, I, I'm going to have. I'm going to finish up the uh, folio. Uh, we've got to embellish the folio there's not well I have a little bit more to do on it I've got to do the inside uh, uh, little side pockets and and do some decorate that and then I got to put stuff here so we're gonna work on both of these finish this up uh, here is the original uh, and then here's our little tag book so we're going to um, finish both of them up cute love the paper I'm gonna do something down the spine and of course on the front there'll be flowers and metals I didn't do anything to the inside uh, on this one or the back I don't know why I just didn't so if you want to do homework here's where we are uh, I can post what dimensions I've used if you'd like for me to Somewhere, I don't know where I could, I could, uh, love the book, Gwen, great idea. Thank you, Margaret Ann. I really like the folio, PM. Thank you. Uh, I'll make that eventually, especially since I have to walk for my, keyboard for this, whatever. Oh, wait for her, show. oh, okay. Um, oh, me too, whatever. Will you be on, I'll be on my channel next Tuesday. Um, 
when what do you use that big brush for oh this is um <laughs> uh yes i'll be on my channel tuesday at one o'clock eastern standard time usa uh and we'll finish up both projects we'll finish up this and we'll finish up the folio this big brush this is an artist brush uh i bought it at an art store where you buy paints and just artist stuff and it, to brush off uh like you have i used to do a lot of artwork and i used to do uh uh pastel chalks and i used to do uh oh graphite and on and of course like this you know when i need a new thing you get dust you get stuff all over and i just brush off my workspace with it i've had it for years i don't know if you can get these like at michael's or or whatever i know you can get them at art stores uh and they are sometimes in the in the uh, area where there's uh, grafting uh, supplies for uh, engineer drafting papers and and on and on and on because they use pencils and they shave their and on and it's just to dust off your thing and I'm and it does because I have you know gotten this stuff over and accidentally got it on paper and if you go like that you can smear that ink on your paper. Okay. Uh, what are we having? Handy? It is a handy brush, Janny. I use it all the time. I, I have for years. Uh, love mine too. Let's see. Da, da, da. Thanks a great class. You're welcome. Oh, hi, Star, honey. I didn't know you were here. I'm sorry. I, I there again. I enlarged my screen so I could see better. And the, the chat, I couldn't see the bottom of the chat. Uh, it's kind of like a clothing brush. Yeah, Morgan Ann. It, and it really, I keep it on my table and I use it all the time. I uh, started to use Prima Color pencils. So that would be, yeah. Anytime you use pencils or graphite, I used to do graphite drawing with graphite pencils. Uh, all that type of thing, it creates a dust. Uh, Please, okay, Fran, I'll put the dimensions up, honey, for this. Uh, I have, I kind of have them written out. Uh, Margaret Ann, did you write out any of the dimensions this time or not, honey? You don't have to. I, I've got them written down, and I'll, I'll post those uh, on Facebook. Yeah, okay. Any other questions? I just think it's a fun little book. It's an easy little book. The only, I said I had a take. The only take I had, I guess, is leaving that folded shut and just cutting off that sliver to attach to the spine. Uh, there is another take. I'm not going into it. It's not mine. I didn't do it. Uh, but it's just very simple. And, and then it'll hold quite a bit. I mean, there again, you can put a lot loose photos or whatever in this sack. These sacks, I uh, gave you the measurements. They have bags that Scrappy Dab would do. I don't, is Barry still here? Are you still here, honey? Miss Barry, Bill Barry? No, I don't know. Uh, oh, thank you, Margaret Ann. Uh, Heavenly is you. Uh, are you? Yes, Heavenly is Margaret Ann. Uh, now I know who you are. I should have figured that out. Oh, she's my sweetie. Uh, Okay, girls, uh, it's been great fun. It's been a good class, I think, and, and on and on. Uh, we don't have much more to go on the book. The embellishments, as I say, we've got to put the two things on the back. Uh, and then, you know, I let me see what I did on this. I put the little bag. See, I put that on there. What else? Did I, I didn't put much on this one, or maybe I didn't. I should have put, and I may go ahead and put a couple on there. Uh, if you need to know how to make these, if you weren't here, we'll, we could do it again. I made these. These are just coin envelopes. Uh, and that's about it. I didn't do anything on the back. I just cut this and then just punched it out and put on the spine because I wanted to cover up where I attached the paper. Uh, I will save the recording. If any of you don't know, well, this is scrap a dab of dues, but mine uh, and of course I saved last week's recording on mine and it's there 
uh, I was watching it the other day, and Ronnie said, who are you talking to? And I said, I'm not. I'm watching myself. He thinks I have lost my mind. Molly can't figure it out while I'm sitting there quiet, and he can hear me talking. It's hysterical. Uh, okay, guys, I'm going to go. Uh, you're all welcome, and thank you so much for coming, and thank you for modding all, all of the design team, and Margaret Ann for taking down measurements, and on and on. You gals are great. Uh, I appreciate it. It's great fun. I really enjoy it. See you Tuesday on my channel. Uh, what's it called? Crafty Lady. Uh, at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a great rest of your week. See you later on your shows. I'll watch Sandra's or whoever's. And, of course, uh, Ashley, she's got a new baby. She'll be busy with the baby. Uh, so, anyway, talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.